one of these days i'm going to find a different place to record these videos I, like a couple of weeks ago, I was actually driving around for like three hours trying to find a, a nice secluded place where I could just set up my camera and not have to worry about people stopping by, seeing me look kind of ridiculous talking to myself. But uh, no luck, no dice. And uh, I'm a little upset by it because I spent three hours looking and did not get lucky at all. So if you have any suggestions as to where I can be secluded and record a video that's not in my house that allows me to get out of the city of Baltimore, then please let me know. ago i was in a process for a job and it was pretty much down to like the last week to know if i was going to get this job or not and i was speaking with the recruiter at the job and he asked the question what am i afraid of i responded that i am afraid of not getting this job i felt like a lot was riding on me getting this job it was a job that i was excited <laughs> hopeful to get I felt that if I didn't get this job, then it would stunt me a little bit more because it was supposed to be a job that was supposed to get me into a profession, get me into a career that I felt that I have I could really find longevity in and find some stability, some balance in my life in. And if I didn't get it, then it would be detrimental to everything that I have in terms of my intentions for the for my future and for the future of those around me. And... I, if I didn't get this job, then I was going to have to rely on having a fallback to going for another job that I wouldn't be as excited about going into. And this recruiter responded back saying, well, first and foremost, I, I think he showed me a video about not having a plan B. And essentially what he was trying to tell me is if I really want this job, then I can't look at it as if I don't get this, like pretty much having any doubt that I'm going to get it because – I end up leaving space for me to not give myself the best possible chance of getting this job. If I have a plan B in the back of my mind, then I'm not going to be 100% committed to getting my plan A. Essentially, I can't have a plan B. Essentially, he was telling me to manifest. He was saying, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not a big fan of the term manifest, but that's essentially what he was saying. He said, if I really wanted this job, then I truly had to hope. Sorry, there's a guy over there looking. If I really want this job, then I truly have to hope that, not even hope, I have to put my 100% into getting this job, put my all my faith, all my hope, my intention, my efforts into getting my plan A instead of leaving any space for plan B. Now, my problem with that is that leaves space for if I don't get my plan A, if I don't have a plan B, then what am I doing? <laughs> I got to have a fallback is what I felt like I always, I always had to have. And I guess it... It, for me, I think it really comes down to what I'm determined to do and more so how I feel about it, um, because I think it is definitely reasonable to have a backup just in case. Um, but I, sh I guess I shouldn't be worried or afraid of not getting my plan A because I wouldn't be worried and afraid. I should be confident if I'm giving my all to get that job. But it's definitely still sensible to have something as a backup just in case. Regardless, it didn't really matter because a few days later I found out I was no longer being considered for that job. It was a little heartbreaking because I took that man's advice and I was like, all right, for the next week, I am a hundred percent in, but that was only for, that was not even an entire week. So maybe if I had had that information a little bit while earlier, maybe if I was a hundred percent into it from the day I submitted my application and not having my doubts and feelings of having to withdraw or, just the lack of confidence that I was going to get this job, then maybe I would be there. So, but I still got something from it. And I hope to kind of take that man's advice and, and keep pushing it forward. If I find another job that I really want to get, then I will put my hundred percent into it, dedicate my free time to getting better at what I need to do to come off as a great candidate for that job. And hopefully well, honestly, it's starting to bleed into other aspects of my life. I know who I want to be as a person. I know what I want to do. And that idea of only having a plan A or manifesting, that's what I'm trying to take into everything else. And it's been kind of paying off. Um, I've been taking my camera out, recording more things, especially out in public, people doing their thing. And 
it's exciting having that energy, having that motivation to go out and put my camera to use because it's something I really want to do. I know that I enjoy seeing people in their mood doing their thing and being able to document that for them or document things for myself and share with others. I love it. There's nothing, nothing better to it right now. I have no ultimate goals besides making my own art, being creative and maybe even making short films in the future. I don't know exactly, but I know that's something I have in the back of my head. But as of right now, I'm just taking my time to do what I enjoy just putting the effort into it instead of having all the doubt that I've ever had all my life about things not working out for me or not having any faith that I can be anything more than I am. Just trying to get that thought out the window and just be like, hey, this is what I want to do, so I'm going to do it. It's easier said than done, but it's a start for me. So I'm taking that on, and I'm I'm kind of I'm glad I got that information um, because that's, it has to be my mindset, honestly. It has to be the mindset if I want to get anything in my life. I have to believe that I want it. I have to know that I want it. And I have to do everything I can to get it. And I hate that I never really had that type of mindset. And that I had to be constantly reminded or really have to hit some walls to to get that kind of engraved inside my head. So, But like I said, this is the start. So we'll see what happens. Hey, I just wanted to thank you all for watching or listening to this video. Um, really don't know why it took me so long to put this out. Um, and I apologize for the pop and peas and the crudeness of the editing. I just really wanted to get it done. And I have all the intention of making much better stuff in the future. Um, so please be patient with me. Um, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Um, hopefully next time I have something much better for you and much sooner. Uh, again, thank you all and peace and love.